Hi, it's Lynn with Soft Squares. It is the Saturday Stituation. Let's talk about the projects I'm working on. I'm standing in front of my design wall with all kinds of things up here on it. So we're just gonna touch base on it. I wanna give you an update on what I'm working on, plus talk about all the things that are here in front of me. Tis the season to be busy, right? So I am finishing up a tutorial on this. You should see this on Monday, but these are gift bags. I am in the middle of working on the Holly Jolly Christmas block of the month from Annie's Kit Clubs. So begging you like it's begging me. <laughs> and I just have to do the outside, the top stitch of this, and I won't be able to get to that for a few days. So this is almost ready. And then here's the side piece that will be attached to it once I'm all done with that so this is block 10 of that you'll see a video on that's coming out soon you also can see this right here which is the silver jubilee daydream block of the month from annie's kits this is block six and i just noticed something do you see see it do you see what's wrong with that block Put in the comments below if you see what's wrong uh, to fix it. Anyway, I'm going to talk about a couple things I'm working on. This is the Silver Jubilee quilt. This is the, the block I'm working on. And there's the finished block. Except now I have to fix it. <laughs> On the Monday Maker video for this week, I did a video on hot pads and bull cozies. I showed you how to make these. This is a set and it's one fat quarter to make all of these per color. Two fat quarters, two coordinating colors. And these are cute and these are done and I have a whole bunch else that I'm working on with that. And here is my stack of the bow bowl cozies and my stack of the hot pads <laughs> and I have made one more set of hot pads so I'm getting to it it's just a step long process it's all assembly line and I have to change threads so it kind of depends on what color thread is in my machine as to what I grab I know so there is that and I'm experimenting so this is a different style slightly different style of bowl cozy I don't know how I feel about this one. The bowl cozy that was given to me as a gift a few years ago is completely round and it's a little tighter. So when I put my bowl in here, it fits great, but there's a lot of wiggle room. So if you pulled this out of the microwave and you tried to carry it, I feel like it needs a seat belt. So this is a pattern that I was following and the instructions for that are on the video that I was just talking about. But I've been playing with a different style. Here's one that I ad-libbed. What I did is I rounded the edges just a little bit so it gives it kind of a flower feel. And then I made the dart, which is what brings the bowl up, a little steeper than I did on this one. And I like it because to me it's more of a bowl. I'm so torn because these are cute. But then when you put your bowl in there, it is snug. I mean, like, there's room, but there's like... It's really in there so I'm thinking when your bowl is hot and you're pulling it out of the microwave you might grab it like this but you also might be ha glad to have these little ends which is why I'm not gonna make just the round flat top because I do like this idea but I'm thinking my darts on this one were a little too deep so my next one that I'm gonna make is going to be in between these two darts but tell me which one you like that they're made this exact same the only difference is this I put a round thing on the edge the corner and came up with a, a rounded edge and cut it like that Does that makes sense it's the only difference so they're basically the same but tell me if you have a preference because I'm just curious about the depth of the bowl as well as the shape do you like this square I really like it now, but I'll be honest, for a long time I didn't, <laughs> but now that I've made them, I really like them. I just want this one to be a little more snug. So I want to know what you guys think. <laughs> My husband was playing with this. He said, well, there you go. One fits inside the other really well. We don't need to do that, but yes, he's right. <laughs> so there's my update on my bowl cozies. 
last week I had a project on the wall that were these strips of chevrons, four of them. I started it over a year ago. My goal is to put these uh, little one and a half inch strips on each side of the four chevrons, which are folded over. I just have too much to do to get back to that project, so I took it off the wall. So at some point, hopefully that gets put back into rotation. So that's what's going on with that project. You can also see these big yellow and gray blocks behind me. This is for my kite kit. I have finally got all the blocks made. Now I have to square them up, so they're a little rough still over here. I had to order more of this fabric. Linen is the name of it, it's not the type of fabric, but I had started with it and I really liked it. And it took four yards of fabric to, to get the 20 blocks I have up here. So I have five of each of the four prints and I have got the pattern figured out. They're just gonna be butted together and then I have a five inch wide gray, the same border to go around it, just to frame it. I might maybe take a hint of yellow, make a skinny little border between this and the gray. I don't know yet, it just dawned on me that, or maybe white, maybe another color as an accent border might be kind of fun. But this is so close to being done, but the reason it's taking so long is I keep running out of fabric. So the second order of my replacement fabric just got here yesterday. So I finished these blocks and now they're sitting there waiting for me to get to them. I'm not going to talk too much about these because this will be in the upcoming video on Monday, but it's just a sneak peek on what's going to be in that video. I have started to cut out some fabric and I got distracted and I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I have a bunch of five inch strips of Christmas fabric. <laughs> They're actually part of the same line as these. And I don't know what I'm going to do. So I have all these five inch strips, five by 22, cause they're actually from a fat quarter. <laughs> and I had a couple things in mind and I kept changing my mind and now I'm to the point where I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do it. This fabric matches this collection right here. It might be another bag. It might be something completely different. So um, stick around and see how I end up using these. I'm, I'm sure something will happen. Then I've got this really pretty fabric that coordinates it's not part of the same set, but it's also five inches. And then here's another five inch strip of Christmas print. And I started something, I'm not sure what I'm doing. <laughs> so anyway, that's something I'm in the middle of. Don't know exactly where that's gonna go be going. And I have all this fabric right here. It's so cute. It's all related to cooking, the kitchen. I have something in mind for this. So this will be coming up for the next couple of weeks, what we're gonna do with that. So right now, I, I, in addition to doing quilting and blocks and tips and things like that, I'm focusing a little more on things that would be good for gifts or small projects that can be done quickly. So we're gonna have a few more of those right now, especially between now and Christmas when it's time to be making things like that. Annie's Fat Quarter Club comes once a month and it is so small, there's not much to it. I'm just gonna include it in this video instead of making its own video. But it is sure cute and look at this, I have more Christmas print than for Fat Quarters. <laughs> oh, all right, let's look at these up close. That's cute. They're all cute. Now this is fun. It's just like that red one, except it's in a very light brown. And these are snow globes. And yeah, all snow globes it looks like. This line is called Let It Snow. With Annie's, you get whatever you signed up for, but then there's also access to stuff on their website. And a lot of times there's the patterns for stuff like this, but that's really all that comes in it. So that's why I'm not gonna do a separate unboxing video for that. But this is by Timeless Treasures. I didn't even see that it had the band on it, but Let It Snow is the name of the fabric line. I have some things in mind for that one too. 
Vicky at Creative Notions was a live sale and I jumped in on that and I purchased a couple things. This is a kit called Christmas Gift Table Topper or it could be a tree skirt if you wanted it to be. And this is one of the patterns from an older subscription that she had, I believe, because it's by the same gal that does her patterns. But isn't that just precious? So cute. It finishes at 36 by 36. Has everything you need, including the fabric. I don't know if I'm going to make this this year. I just thought it was so cute and it was such a good deal. But look at this. I'm going to guess this is the backing. That's several yards. That's at least a yard and a half because it's still folded over. But look at that up close. Here's all of this. Okay, we're just gonna look at the fabric up close. This is a quarter of yard. It's just not a fat quarter. It's by width of fabric. This doesn't say on there what that is, but that's pretty. And then I have a stepper. Fat quarter stacker. Now these actually are fat quarters. I like that these are deep colors. They're not the bright. I mean, there's some bright red in there, but it's just a, seems like everything, like what you see on the wall behind us is just kind of bright. These are dark and rich. And this is the same fabric that there was that uh, longer piece, which is still a, a quarter of a yard. Just this is a fat, a fat quarter. Oh my goodness. Here it is in green. I don't know if you can see with the, the light and the bend. Nope, that's holly, huh? This is the same fabric that there's the yardage on. And the last one, this is the same that was at the front of this line that had the white background. And let's see if I can figure out what it is. It's by Riley Blake Designs. Farmhouse Christmas. And that's all I can tell. Sure pretty. And there we go, all of our different fabrics. And then the yardage is still <laughs> laying down. But this is this kit. There's this extra yardage. As well as this. Yeah, I can see that. Just again, here's the kit that that was intended for. Now this is coming out of one of her previous subscription boxes. So she doesn't just send you the fabric needed for the project. She sent a fat quarter bundle. And so not all the pieces are going to use a full fat quarter, but the fabric that's supplied to you is at least a fat quarter. And then obviously there's a couple extra pieces in there, but you won't necessarily use all of this. You could expound on it but the point is is there's a lot of a lot of fabric in here it's not all intended or needing to go on the project <laughs> she also included in that the subscribers block of the month competition i'm not sure what month this is but each month there's a uh, block of the month that is someone that sent it in to her and these are just three different configurations but that'll be fun to play with and usually these are in her boxes and this is not necessarily a box but it is stuff that were in previous boxes so maybe that's why she includes this for fun. And I also picked up this from Vicki. This is called Whimsy Garden. It finishes at 64 by 68. It has everything you need to build this 
and it looks like a great quilt little girl so let's look at that fabric butterflies so these are all fat quarters this is actually sugar and spice textiles and sugar and spice is who writes her patterns so they actually have their own textiles their own fabric that is cool okay so there's that and then here's another piece of that looks like it's the exact same size and then here's some yardage of purple this looks like about a yard so I'm assuming that's for um, oh you know what it's probably for all these little through here anyway we've got that okay plus this st stack of rainbow colors and this stack of rainbow colors and these are also sugar and spice textiles called cotton rainbow solids and this one is also cotton there's five pieces 18 by 21 per bundle and i'm not going to open them because they're just solid and you can see what those look like but there's 10 different colors of the rainbow here and then extra purple and then the butterfly print and this is jumbo rickrack and i can see where it goes it goes right here that is fun it's huge and cute so i picked this up so i don't know how often she does that it was on a friday night and it was on youtube you never know i just happened to luck out on that I got in the mail from Cotton Cuts my, I'm pretty sure it's my mystery puzzle, mystery puzzle piece. We're using recycled mailers. Yes, this is piece clue number four. So I'll be building that probably next week. And I'm doing the small size, but the investigation begins on Friday, December 2nd um, for the next mystery puzzle. And they have, these are the colorways that are available for that one. Cotton Cut Spring 2023 Puzzle Mystery Quilt. First clue ships Friday, February 3rd. I got a box. I did some shopping on Etsy. This is coming out of Emmett, Idaho. I used to live in Boise and Emmett is about 20 minutes outside of Boise. And it's also where Di with Sister Chicks lives. But I didn't realize I placed an order with him anyone that was in a familiar place to me oh but i did oh okay this came from my fabric addiction which is an etsy shop and did i tell you i like deals <laughs> i was really 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 liking these i got a bunch of kits I was really liking what I saw and the prices that they were. So that's the only thing I can say. <laughs> but this is called Summer Breeze by Moda. It finishes at 76 by 80. I haven't done a Moda kit in a box before. I've done quilting treasures, I think. And then some pre-made kits from different shops. So this would be new for me to do this. I was just kind of, <laughs> but here's another one for Moda. There's this one. It's called Sister Bay Three Sisters. It is 66 by 81. Oh. 
Now on the back of this, it says, kit includes pattern and fabrics for quilt top and binding, plus cake mix paper. So that's gonna help with the piecing. I'm pretty sure if that's what that is. Guess what? There's one more. So, so I'm on a kick for buying patterns and for buying things because I want to have a purpose. Like I already have anyway. But my goal is to start a project every week. How far I go, I don't know. Sometimes I can sew a lot, sometimes not. Sometimes they're small projects. So my goal is to get through all of these patterns and boxes, which is why I'm buying them. So we'll see. Now there's one more. This one's called Pet Petal Power. It also is by Moda. There we go. Me and my sister designs. Let's read about this. Kit includes pattern and fabrics for quilt top and binding plus triangle paper. Again, I'm thinking it's, whoop. <laughs> I think it's just the papers that will make these be a little more precise, which is awesome. I could open the box. Okay, I will. You talked me to it. <laughs> yeah. Let's start with this one. Okay, it's, it is what I was thinking of. These are the, it's so Emma, um, triangles on a roll. Have square triangles for two inch finished squares. If you have not tried these, these are really cool. I have done a tutorial on them. It's been a while, but I do have a lot of these and this will probably get me excited and start using them again. It just depends on what I'm doing. But here is our really cute pattern with the fabric laid out there. Sizes for crib, lap, tween, and queen. <laughs> this is adorable and I'm pretty sure I have uh, seen some fabric from this line. I bet I have a layer cake. I have to look. This looks really familiar. But isn't that cute? <laughs> I don't want to open the package because it's so nice and contained. But it's it, you can see that it's bright, fun bright colors which is shown on the box. Okay, now I'm gonna see if my if I do have a layer cake. I have it, this is the line. So this is the full line. You're not really getting to see much of it, but you get the idea, this is cute. So obviously there are bigger prints too. I'm gonna see if this is in here or if it's, it is. So this is in here. Oh, I'm excited. As I get into playing with this, we'll see. I might scrap it up a little bit. Oh, I don't know. Anything's possible. Or make a coordinating thing that goes with it. I guess it doesn't want those in there. One down, back to this box. Okay, 66 by 81 is the size of this one. I guess I could leave it like that. It's upstairs, upside down, but a quilt is still a quilt, right? Here's our pattern. Oh, these are pretty. Here's our fabrics. Life is better on the bay. I don't know if you can see if there's a hopefully there's not glare on there, but that's pretty. Those are pretty colors. I'm pretty sure that's what drew me to this in the first place. But it does have the cake mix recipes. So again, these are awesome too. These help you 
get your points right where they need to be. This is from Miss Rosie's Quilt Company. This is Cake Mix Recipe 11. And there's the recipe. There's books for recipes up through 11, I think, farther than that, but this is not the only one they have. But these are uh, options of different configurations you can get from what's available here. And each sheet of paper is the same. And it shows you how to sew, where to cut, makes things super easy. And that's the same with the triangle on a roll. But look, there's more. So this is not in the package. Maybe that's the binding. You know what? Oh, that, yeah, that's the background. I'm like, there's a lot of that fabric, but it's the background because there's a lot of blank space, which is just pretty because it's not stark white. It's kind of fun to do different options. Kind of like what you see behind me. I'm using gray in that. Okay, so excited. So excited. And I'll be honest, I do struggle with half square triangles and doing that many little ones. I'm very happy to see the papers. Okay, we have one more. It's like Christmas. Oh wow, wait till Christmas. I've got boxes coming, Advent boxes, things I didn't even know existed, things you probably didn't know existed. Stick around for that. There we go. Starry Skies. Pretty. The color palette is really pretty. And here's the fabric. Oh, it looks like someone's already peeked in there, so guess what? We're going to have to do that too. Yep. Okay, make me do it. No, this just makes me think it's okay to do it to the other boxes. <sighs> so I don't have... They're all different sizes, just depending on what's needed. And I'm not checking the sizes right now. This is by Lavender Lime, Kathy Scomp, Becca Pines, Pipes. Lavender Lime, I just saw that, I like this. You, you need six yards of backing for this guy. I got distracted, squirrel. <laughs> Fabric makes me happy, that is my motto, and I'm pretty happy. That's a fun one. It's kind of a watercolor look, not quite grunge. That's fun. Different. This has a lot of paisley. I'm not a huge fan of paisleys, but I like that this is actually primarily a floral um, set. And then here's our background fabric. And I think it's the same as that blue. There's a little bit of a tonal change on there. And there's quite a bit of yardage in there. Ta-da. Oh, we're not we're going to worry about that bag anymore. I'm going to quickly show you the fabrics and the others because that wasn't so scary to open. I didn't unleash the beast, right? Okay, so we have this, which is the same as the background fabric that's in our package here.
Look at that little detail in the middle of the square. <laughs> Does it make you go cross-eyed? Those look like a, a die with the five dots on it. That's the little print inside each of those little squares inside the center. Wow, very cute, very different. These are pretty colors. Most of these I pick because of their colors. Pretty. That's a paisley. That's a fun one. Not your traditional paisley. This is the same as the tan tonal. Comes in other colors, oh, including blue. Oh, wow. A big print. And it comes in another colorway. There's There's this one. We had it in a different color. And then there's a smaller piece of this and a lot of this. Just out of curiosity, does it say how much fabric is needed for the background? Five and a half yards of backing of background. Now it also has these extra pieces of it, this and this, and then there's one at the bottom. So that are, I don't know if that's included in that number. It's just interesting. Okay. On to the next one. Remember this had the Moda cake mix help with all these little triangles in here. Pedal power, let's look at you a little closer. Seven and a quarter yards for background and borders is needed for the queen size on this. Um, okay, here we go. Queen size is 92 and a half square. And then there's lap, which is 72 and a half square. I think this box, if I remember right, is a 72 square. So this is the lap size. So on the back here, it's telling me how this works by size. And there's four and a half yards of background and borders. Which is this really pretty? How much do I need for the back ground backing? I'm gonna need five, well, four and a half, almost five yards for backing to make this one. And there's other sizes too. All righty, here's the fun, bright, cheery colors. Well, that's a different one. Oh, wow. <laughs> Two colors. Very fun. And I just looked down and realized what shirt I'm wearing today. I don't know if you can see it, but it says Fabric Fondlers Anonymous Acquisition Committee. I think I'm wearing the right shirt for the day. Yes. If you like these shirts, go to my Etsy shop. Soft Squares is my name and the link is below. There's this and others. 
Okay, well, that will be it. And again, this came from my fabric addiction. Um, to get to her, it's my fabric addiction number, then the number one dot etsy.com. Um, wow, now I see what I did. I got big discount. They were definitely on sale. It's the only reason why I would have done it. And there was free shipping. And you saw the box that this came in, right? <laughs> Probably. I don't know, I'm just gonna guess 20 bucks to ship it. I have no idea. So, thank you. I feel like, like I said, like it's Christmas. <laughs> so I'm trying to get through all my little projects before I start anything, but it is time to start looking into spring. Hard to believe, all right? Okay. There you go, what do you think? put these. They're going to have to go on the other side of the room. This is a bag that had a shirt in it that I ordered through the mail. And I'm using it to hold scraps. These are large scraps from this quilt. And I'm going to make a crazy quilt with these pieces. So I've got so many. They're not really... <laughs> big enough to do a whole lot with, but I think if I leave them at their size and make crazy quilt, I don't know if this qualifies for crumb quilt. I haven't really heard that until lately. I've never used that term, so I'm not sure. Is, is that what this is? <laughs> These crumbs? Anyway, there's just a, this whole bag. There's a lot of big pieces. This is something I have planned for future. So that's an upcoming project when I just want to be out of the box and doing whatever comes to mind. This is just a little panel quilt that I had sewn on my domestic sewing machine. So I just did a stitching around it and then I played with the stitching. So the two is actually in its own section, the five is in its own section, the eight is in its own section. I was just trying to kind of be creative with the quilting process but I also tried to single out each number just to be fun. So there's no video on this, but it's just cute. And then there's the back. Pretty easy. And this will be highlighted in a future video of finished quilts. So you'll see that again soon. I have a bunch of quilts at the quilter. They are really getting busy this time of year. So it usually takes a little bit to get them back. I'm not surprised I haven't seen them yet. But I keep hoping I'll hear from them and can go pick them up. I'm really hoping um, in the next week or so, I'll have all the quilts back that they're holding on to. And then by then I will have this one done and hopefully some others to drop off. This is something I bought a while ago, but I wanna show you because I need some input on it. This is a bundle of fabric, uh, 14 fat quarters, plus a panel fe featuring Woodland Walk. I got it at the at Quilt Etc, which I've done a store tour on, a shop tour, and this was 50% off. Um, that's a lot of fabric. It's more modern prints. It's all the same line. Show you what I have and see what you think I should do. Let's see, who is the Natalie Lit, Lit for Anna Marie? They have a sticker over top of it. Maybe I'll find the salvage. Oh, there we go. No, I lost it. Conservatory. This one's the Swallows. So it's actually not the same one I first held up. I guess this is directional. I should open it. And then that same one comes in blue. Woodland Walk by Natalie Lett, L-E-T-E, for Anna Maria's Conservatory. This print is called In My Garden. And I don't know if it's directional. I, it is. Does that make you feel better? You don't have to turn your head. <laughs> I 
butterflies in the garden. I like it when I can get a glimpse of what they're calling things. Not the salvage. This is the same one, but with a white background and more of a, a fuchsia. The other one was kind of a coral on light blue. Two very different pinks. And then we got these little bunnies. It doesn't say what it is. I don't think we need to know that name. It's pretty obvious. Now we're into the bigger prints. And then we're going to get to the piece that I don't know what to do with. <laughs> this one has, uh, it doesn't say, but it's free spirit. How's that? That was probably upside down. Does this have a direction? It does. Let's try this. That seems to be its direction. Wow. Wow. This is the same fabric, but in a different color line. That's different. I just had shown you a blueprint. This is the same as the one two fabrics ago, but with this bright pink. And here it is in the mustard with plum. There's really only two colors. Oh, I want some brown. I guess there's three colors on here. Would you like to see the right side? It appears to be directional. I just had shown you a blueprint. This is the same as the one two fabrics ago, but with this bright pink. And here it is in the mustard with plum. There's really only two colors. Oh, I want some brown. I guess there's three colors on here. Would you like to see the right side? It appears to be directional. Here's the panel. And there's a lot you can do with it. And I can see how the panel makes everything a little more cohesive with all the prints other than their fat, their colors. But this is cute. It's just, I'm not sure if I should cut it up or use it as it is. I feel like I could applique these big guys. I don't, I don't know. This one is Conservatory, Mitzi and Friends. I'm guessing Mitzi is the cat. So, this is really fun. It's different. I'm trying to do things that are a little different. I am um, not quite sure how to use it with this panel. Let me know what you think about it. I need some input. I want these back in their bundle. I think I can do it. I'm like the little train that could engine little engine that could I think I can I think I can I think I can I could untie it but sometimes there's double knots and I liked a challenge <laughs> I did it I knew I could I'm gonna give you some life updates now at the time that this posts I will be in Idaho 
to catch up with my husband who's on a little road trip with all his sporting stuff. He has this um, thing where he likes to go to as many games and arenas and stadiums and see as many teams as he can and he keeps track of them. And he has been to 497 arenas across the country and into Canada. And he's going to go over 500 this weekend, yay, <laughs> with his little road trip. So he took off ahead of me, and I'm flying out. And uh, by the time this comes up on Saturday, I will be in Boise and getting ready to sit down for the BYU-BSU for Boise State football game. He went to BYU, I went to Boise State and I used to live there. So this will be fun. <laughs> so that's my big news is I'm going on a little road trip and my husband will hit 500 stadiums. He's been working on this for years. And because both of my machines are in for service, it's, I had to schedule an appointment just to get their service. There's nothing wrong with them. But he took my machines and dropped them off today. And I'm without a machine for sewing. I can, if I really, really needed to, like to fix this block because it's really bugging me, <laughs> get to a machine that has sewing, but I, I have it set up for embroidery and it's not that big of a deal to fix this between now and next week when I'm back in town and get my machines back. <laughs> but it's weird to not to be able to sit down and pick at that and sew on it. So my babies, my sapphire, my Viking Sapphire and my Faf Creative 2.0 are in to get their big overhaul because I work them so hard. It's good to take care of your babies once in a while. But this has also given me an excuse, depending on where I am and what I can do, to actually sit at my embroidery machine. And I still have the Sweet 16. I can't use it right now. My husband had wrist surgery and he needs to fix the timing on it. So he's doing better, but no torquing yet. And it's nothing urgent. So I can't really do quilting because that machine is kind of on hold. But the embroidery is something I've been wanting to get to. I've just been really preoccupied with other things. And now I don't have an option to do those other things. You might see something. You might. <laughs> but anyway, my goal is soon you will see more embroidery. I shouldn't say you haven't really seen anything from me. You'll be seeing some projects from me with embroidery with the in the hoop on my embroidery machine. So I don't do hand embroidery. Although, honestly, I wouldn't mind doing that. And I had carpal tunnel surgery and I can now feel things before I could, there's no way I could handle um for one doing this motion it would just cramp up the other is I was losing sensation in my fingers and I couldn't even tell if I was holding something so working with a needle would not have worked so but that's a different story but this is all machine embroidery carpal tunnel surgery is worth it is the best thing ever oh, do it take care of yourself It's been a while, and I, but I'm in the mood for a drawing. As usual, you need to be a U.S. resident or at least have a U.S. mailing address. I'm not shipping out of the country. I'm so sorry. It's just too expensive. So U.S. mailing address, and you need to be a subscriber to my channel and be visible so I can verify that. And then I'm going to make this super simple. I want you to enter in the description of your comment, gingerbread gingerbread and let me show you what you're gonna get these are it's like gingerbread like this is what I want you to put these are the merry a cozy Christmas magnets set of nine magnetic one and a quarter inch round magnets they're all Christmas themed and I'm also going to give you this Wilmington print set of fabric called time for hot cocoa by Coward Knudsen Conrad see Conrad Knudsen Sorry, really tiny print. This 40 karat crystals is the line, I believe. But look how cute it is. It has, all, well, you can kind of see on the back there, the pictures of hot cocoa and things related to Christmas. And these, this is a jelly roll. They just put together a strip. So there's actually two of each print and there's two rows of strips. So these are two and a half inch strips of 40 pieces of that. So I'm gonna give away this 
and this. And I'll probably throw something extra in there. November 19th is going to be a Saturday situation video. So two weeks from when this one is airing is when I'm going to announce the winner. I'll also go back and post the winner at the top of the comments for this video, but you have until November 15th to enter the contest and I will do a random drawing. You have to be able to reply to me to get that the following Wednesday, which is November 23rd. So you will have Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday till midnight. So actually four and a half days. You're gonna need to reply to me at lynn at softsquares.com with your email address to be able to claim this, but you have to do it by the 23rd, which is the day before Thanksgiving here in the US, and then I'll get that shipped out. So again, you're getting Jelly Roll or strips, some really cute holiday magnets, and whatever else I find that I feel like throwing in there. But I wanna say thank you for being here. And once I hit some more milestones with my subscribers, we're gonna be doing more giveaways. Enter, tell your friends, like, subscribe, and share. <laughs> Thanks, have a great day.